Hi, it's Jim Lyons, and I'm going to review a little bit of uh, using the site object and passing me Windows messages to it. Um, I'll add the links to this uh, uh, file. Maybe this is this is this is where you can see a lot of the message list um, for, um, for on site. And here is how to how to submit um, the Windows messages. But um, I'll add another one up there at the top to help uh, make sure that's clear. Anyway, so here I just create, um, I should actually say I connect to the active um, site window that's open into an object, and I've just gone through, just to make it easy, right, so easy to borrow later. Um, I'm going to save this, reload it. Now, whatever I highlight, if I highlight this, hit my hotkey, it, it notice it, it um, in my message box shows me that's what I had highlighted. Oh, looks like I, uh, had one other one here I forgot to comment out. So we get back to here. Okay. Um, I'll comment that one out. Now, what if I want all of the text in this document? So I'm going to reload, launch. So now it, it went and got all of it, right? So just programmatically, instead of saying uh, select all and then copy, it's it's using the object, which is going to be more reliable and usually faster. Um, or if I wanted to get the path of this current file. So that's where this file currently is. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one. Let me hit... Um, this is kind of cool. If you had a certain program that you always wanted to, to launch into debug mode. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Now it, it notice it, it opened the file for me, launched it, and it's already put me into the debug mode. So I'm going to stop that. I'll go ahead and close this. Um, this one, where's my, well, it's down a little further. Um, these are showing you how you can count how many tabs there are and get a list of them. You can insert text. So here, this one, this one will look, let me comment this out, and I'm going to put my cursor right here. So if you don't mention the location, it will put the text wherever your cursor is. Right, however, if you do mention a location, so I said 30, and if we came up here and if we were to count over, oh, I had spaces here before, um, if we were to count over, and let's see, down below, I'm at column 35, 33, I'm looking down here in the status bar, <coughs> um, 32, so here, load, so it put it up, oh, you know that was st stupid, right, because I think my cursor was there, so I'm going to click over here. And now do it again. And notice, even though my cursor stayed here, it put the text up here. So it's a nice way to be able to put it where you want it. Um, I can clear the output. So down here, let me reload. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I didn't save it. Sorry. Save, reload, launch. So that cleared the output. Or if I actually wanted to put text into the output, you know what? I'll go ahead and clear it first too, because it'll probably be. When it reloads. Oh, it looks like <laughs> it inserted my uh, my uh, text here. So notice it, it cleared the output and put hello world in my output window. Um, the send directory messages. So this would close the file. Um, this will find find and replace. Let's do the find and replace. And so look over here. I have um, Joe in several places and a Bob. But um, let me go back here. Save. Reload it. So this is the weird part to me of like you put this backslash zero 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 in front of. So here's the word you want to find. And here's the word you want to replace. Well. This is what you want to replace it with, and run it, and it goes and searches your document and does it for you. Could be handy, save as, <coughs> and then these send messages, 
Um, I had to look them up. And if you come down here and go here, there's a tool after you download this. There's this tool called spy.exe, and it makes it very easy to show you the uh, commands. You know what? I'll even launch out here in a couple seconds um, and show you how easy that is. But um, all of these are the commands. I didn't. I didn't look up everything because I had, there was no. I, there was no documentation anywhere telling you what the commands are, but this is the command you put in here, and this is what it tells it what to do. So you can you can change the formatting, the encoding, exporting, copying. I, mean, I, I think basically anything you can do in site, you can probably find the command for it. Um, now let me see if I did save because I put it here. I thought there we go. So spy, watch that. Now when I'm in here, now watch if I hit open. And I come back here. I think the 320 is probably something like, I don't know its interface, but this 102, that's the command. Um, and if we hit here and find 102, you'll see open file, right? So that's how I, I figured all this out. But um, this is just nice because for these, which are to me the most common ones, you, you don't have to go look them up. However, there are a lot of different things that you can do. And so I didn't look up every one. Um, but, uh, there's definitely, it's, it's easy to, to figure out. And that's it. I mean, I, so the reason why I was doing this, let me see if I can quickly, I gotta launch something else first to get to it, but, um, uh, so here is some XML, right? And notice that, I, so I, I actually brought up the window, um, why I wanted to do it. So I have XML here and I can actually submit this. It does an API call. Unfortunately, the, the XML, there's no color coding. Right, so it's it's really tough to, to read and make sure you're doing it right. So I thought, hey, what if I can find an easy way to put it in here um, and take advantage of that site? I don't know if I actually um, I can change it there. I'm not sure what it thought it was, but um, <laughs> I, I kind of like the other one even more. But you can see, let's put it back to auto hotkey. Okay, that's close enough. I mean, just for the syntax highlighting, it makes it very easy. So now I can write a script to go, I can do everything here, and also what was really cool, right, is I can just, what if I had one file, which I do somewhere, which has a bunch of these as a cheat sheet, well, because I can have that selection, I can come in here and highlight what I want, hit my hotkey, it'll go grab this text, and then go submit it to my API call for me, so I don't have to use the auto hotkey GUI, right, that's what I built here, um, I can just do it from in here and tell it, okay, now go submit that, and then have it, you know, show me the results in a, in a regular auto hockey thing, or maybe, maybe even dump it in here. Why not, right? All right, that's it. Thanks.